Travelling Blade here, back again for another vlog, back again for another home vlog where today United take on Watford. Watford, uh, who so far have won all three of their home games, so it's going to be our toughest test yet. Um, obviously, transfer deadline day finished. Um, I think, what was it now? I, I wasn't really keeping up to it because I was too busy trying to get Oasis tickets. Too busy getting Oasis tickets, shall I say. Not, not one to brag. Oh, I, I am one to brag. Not really. The only sort of incomings and outcomings I was looking at was my position on the queue in Ticketmaster and how much money was flying out my account. But I believe what we shifted Trusty on, good, he was crap. And I think we've got Slamani on loan. Looking at what Wilder said, it sounds like their hearts weren't in it. So, yeah, if that's the kick up the arse that Slamani needed getting loaned out to Norwich. Was it Norwich, I think, for the season? If his heart wasn't in it, then, you know, so be it. So, yeah, but we managed to keep hold of Arblaster, managed to keep hold of Hamer. Uh, they were my two main worries. Um, obviously, we've still got um, like the likes of Anel and Souza um, as well. So, yeah, we managed to keep them in. I think we could have done with a couple more bodies, a couple more squad players, a few more Ben Osborne types. Not specifically like that, but players that can just come in and do a job, you know, because it's a long season. And if our injury record anything to go, of the last two seasons, anything to go off, we're going to need flipping players to step up and as the game on uh, midweek showed those second string players aren't quite at the mark just yet but we've got Watford at home um, going to be a hard hard game but let's hope we can bag three points come on United <laughs> Ben Kiefer. Oh, hell. Bloody hell. Oh, from Big Kiefer. Come on. Oh. Look at you. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 oh. Time 1 0 to United. Actually, feels a little bit disappointing after the disappointing of the wear of the missed penalty. I saw put a slight dampener on things, but it's good to be winning 1 0. Braxak has been very lively down the right wing. Um, similar to Brook, so the final decision making, you know, slightly off its hands. Maybe should shoot, shoot a little bit more. 
Uh, but still been very lively to be fair. Suit has been pretty good. Not too slow on the turn either. Decent on the turn. Chris down here has been good. And now most players have been pretty good to be fair. Um, just to, like I said, disappointed about the penalty, but I can go. Up. I think we could have had a penalty towards another penalty towards the end as well. And a foul on O'Hare, but didn't get given. But yeah, it's been okay so far. We've had quite you know, control of the game. And it's been number 19 who top who's had a few chances but not made anything of them. But yeah, we're pretty much in control for the large part. Um, just maybe a bit more better decision making in the end. Um, a bit more clinical, obviously, with the penalty. But I think we could do with another goal to win. If we're going to win, I think we're going to need another goal. But hopefully, we can get on in the second half and get the three points. full-time United 1 Watford 0. Uh, we got the goal in the second minute I believe actually turned out to be uh, an own goal. I think it was from their keeper. Um, obviously really good um, dribble by uh, O'Hare. Um, thought, thought he'd lost the ball at one point and then obviously managed to carry on and slot a ball in. It just sort of trundled into the net so it was really weird and footage of it was poor admittedly. It sort of took me by surprise and I'd not managed to zoom in yet so apologies for that. Um, Got really good footage of the key for more penalty miss there. Although it was a quite a, obviously a really good a really good result for United. Obviously Watford had won all three of their games prior to this. Um, obviously now it's their first loss, and we I thought we controlled the game pretty much. I thought for the most part we limited Watford. Don't remember Cooper having to pull off too many saves. Um, I thought you know, and we seemed to control most of the play. I'd say I'm not sure what possession was. Maybe I'm talking a load of rubbish, but it has been known. But um, 
yeah, a lot of a lot of great performances around there. I thought Gilchrist was great. Uh, not sure why he got subbed off. Maybe it was a bit of an injury or a twinge. Don't know. Um, but that was a bit shame because he got subbed off at the 58th minute, I think. Um, I thought Burrows had a great defensive head at one point. I thought Shackleton looked alright when he came on. Both Suits and Anel, um, good at the back. Souza, brilliant again. Moore um, wasn't the best game for him. Obviously, he had the penalty miss. But then I think as well, um, there was a couple more chances that I think he should have done better with. I think he potentially could have had a hat-trick, really. He had a, a bit of a free header in the second half that he sort of just seemed to head into the ground too much. And then obviously the one where, I don't know if he sort of tried to take it past the keeper, but he sort of chopped and changed and then just sort of kicked it towards the goalkeeper. So that was a bit disappointing. I think maybe he should have got a goal, maybe an assist. I'm not sure if there was someone free. Um, I thought Raksaki was really lively. Um, but like I said in the vlog, similar to Brooks, where they're really lively down the wing and some brilliant um, you know, dribbles. But then that final, final ball, the whether it's the final pass, maybe it's shooting, shooting earlier, just wasn't quite there. But a very exciting prospect. And hopefully, um, you know, it's good to have two good wingers. And I don't know if, I think Brooks can play left wing, but I think we've sort of got a too few many, actually two first, first teamers now. Uh, but Brooks wasn't on even on the bench, so perhaps he's got a bit of an injury. But yeah, Raksaki, quite exciting, just... Need to get that final ball uh, ironed out and then there's a, quite the player there. I know it's not ours, but still. Um, so, yeah, quite a pretty overall. Obviously, a 1-0 win against Watford, who I think was second before this uh, round of games. Um, obviously, nothing to be sniffed at, really. Quite a fairly comfortable win as well, I thought. Um, and could, have could should have scored a couple more. And um, we're now up to eighth, I believe. Which is pretty good. Obviously, we had our two points locked off before we started, so... Yeah, up to eighth, not bad at all. Still unbeaten, unbeaten in the league at least, touch wood. So yeah, pretty decent, 1-0 win. We've now got the international break, so we've got nothing next weekend. And we come back uh, for Hull away on a Friday night, who I think are somewhere in the lower table. I'm not sure how they got on this weekend, but yeah, Hull away. Hopefully we can go there and get some more points on the road. Anyway, guys, I'm in the Travelling Blade and I'll see you for Hull away.